What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nelson and in this video, I want to talk to you why you shouldn't learn design patterns. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Also give me a thumbs up so I can keep on recording more videos like this. If you're not part of the Amigos Code community, go ahead and join because the community is just growing and there are a lot of people there learning how to code and you should be part of it. Now, why you shouldn't learn design patterns. So I remember, you know, a few years back when I was starting my career, I would ask people, uh, you know, you know, experienced software engineers, like what design patterns do you know? Right. And that was because I memorized every single, actually I said memorized. Yes. I memorized every single design pattern out there. And I remember exactly uh, one day uh, a guy called Will, uh, I've asked him, uh, so what, what design patterns do you use? And it was like, um, I mean, like none, like he literally said none. And I was like, so how come, you know, you, you've got all, all of these design, design patterns, but how come you don't use none? And what he said to me, he said that design patterns should emerge from your code and not you trying to use all of the design patterns available to make up your code. So that was like, wow, mind blowing. And to be honest, like since that day, um, you know, it is true. It is true what he said. Um, you know, I, I haven't memorized any design patterns. If I use design patterns is because it's something that, you know, the team has agreed to use, right? Uh, but it's not like I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go over. Oh, which design pattern shall, shall I use? No, right? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't work like that, right? So a design pattern should emerge itself from the code, right? Don't try and go after you know which design patterns should you should you should you implement, right? Because there are lots of design patterns, and what is the point of you learning and memorizing these design patterns? People are not gonna ask you. No one's gonna ask you. Oh. Um, you know, explain me the like builder or uh, combinator or any design pattern. Right? No one's going to ask you, right? So obviously there are design patterns such as the singleton, which you should know. It's very simple, but you should know really why you should use the singleton design pattern. So what I'm trying to tell you is that don't learn stuff that you don't need. I can guarantee you, you won't need all those 30 or 40 design patterns available um, out there, right? Don't, don't go and learn those, right? Focus on, on the core of what you're trying to learn, right? If it's a programming language, learn that language well, right? If, um, you know, you're trying to learn how to build RESTful APIs, learn that. How to secure APIs, learn that, right? Because design patterns, they, they, they change amongst teams, right? One team might be in favor against, um, um, well, actually, one team might be in favor of uh, design pattern A, and uh, when you switch jobs, you might say, oh, I, we used to use this design pattern, and then, you know, these guys here, they're more experienced than these guys, they might be saying, do you know what, you, sh like, you shouldn't be using that design pattern, right? So, we follow this design pattern. So, if you work for a team, uh, you know, large team, or even a small team, you guys should agree on the pattern, right? How do you structure your code? you know, don't overcomplicate code, right? Because sometimes some of these design patterns, they, they, they tend to complicate your code a lot. And for something simple, you might just overcomplicate it. Don't, don't, don't do it, right? Because what you want is if, um, you know, I was to join, for example, your team, or I was to uh, work with you on a project, you want me to go and actually look at your code and understand, oh, you know, this means that. So he's trying to do that, right? Not you trying to be clever and use like a million design patterns. And I'm, I'm going into your code base and I'm like, what is this? What is this? Right. So this is uh, pretty much all I have to say. Uh, let me know what, what you thought about this video, whether you agree with me or not, right? Should you go and learn, you know, 20 design patterns and never use them? Or should you focus on the core concepts right which will take you much further so let me know your thoughts this is all for now make sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video also subscribe 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 this is all for now i'll catch you on the next one assalamu alaikum